Hi, it's James Taylor here. In many organizations, they use brainstorming sessions or brainstorming techniques to help them generate new ideas. Unfortunately, many of the companies I go in and I look at, they are not really doing their brainstorming sessions very well. They're making some critical mistakes. And if you've ever been in a brainstorming session yourself in the workplace, you'll often notice what we call the tyranny of the marker pen. That very extroverted person that's standing up next to the whiteboard, somehow it always seems to be his or her ideas that are the ones that get put forward. That's a very, very common mistake because often in brainstorming sessions, those people who are more introverted, who have equally, their ideas equally as good, will tend to sit back and they won't feel as engaged in the process. So I wanna give you a couple of ideas just now in terms of ensuring that those brainstorming sessions are better and are more effective for you and your organization. The very first thing to think about is always ensure that everyone that's going into that room, they have a pen and they have some post-it notes. Very simple, everyone should have their own pen and post-it notes so no one can dominate the board of putting up new ideas. The second thing is before you even get into the room, I would encourage you to give everyone that's gonna be attending the brainstorming session the problem that you're trying to solve in advance so in, everyone can separately can start working on their own ideas because many times introverts will, will want to kind of work through their ideas on their own before bringing it to the group. So then when you have that group session, that group brainstorming session, people are coming initially with their own ideas and they're putting those up on the board with post-it notes or writing them down. And then those ideas are acting as catalysts for other ideas where people are questioning, so well, what if we did that with that idea? And you start building, building those together. At the end of the session, I would also encourage you to, um, to start to uh, prioritize some of these in, in whichever way you feel is right for your organization. So start to work out, well, which one do we feel is number one, number two, number three, number four in those ideas, and do that as a collective group on in that brainstorming session. Once you've done that, take a photograph of it or have someone write it out so that they have the, the list of the ideas and, and what happened at the session, and then give that to someone who was not at the session, the brainstorming session. Often this will be the person who will have responsibility of making the final decision on which idea gets pushed forward. So that's another way of having someone give you feedback on those ideas with a, with a fresh set of eyes. So I hope that's been useful. Don't fall for the tyranny of the, the marker pen. Everyone should have their own pens. Give people a little bit of time beforehand to kind of start generating their ideas and enjoy your next brainstorming session. Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm gonna send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.